And it's just that we like Canada. Uh, we like your image. You know, we've enjoyed being here. We like we like people that talk to China. You know, it's no good sort of making them worse, making it worse than it is. We like it because you're not fighting. You pulled out of NATO, and all the things you do seem like good a good scene to me. You know, and there's hope, and it's a young country. It's right next door to the other place, and you're not. You haven't been converted. You know, you're still independent. Uh, when the photographers have sort of got it, then you can let the radio guys do it. Uh, I'll just briefly tell you why we came, is to... Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Yes. Uh, take five. Uh, we came for a number of reasons. The main reason was... Uh, they're all to do with peace. The main reason was to set up with uh, the help of some friends we have here a peace festival for July in Mossport Park, July 3rd, 4th and 5th, uh, all being well. Uh, we don't want to set up a holocaust, you know, we just want to set up a peace festival. And uh, it'll be peace, poetry and whatever. We're going to try and invite everyone who's anyone, whoever that is, you know, we'll try and get everyone we know to come and donate their time or whatever. But people will be paid for performance. But we'll try and get some cream off the top to set up a peace fund, you know. Because I can just see all the performers thinking, oh, no, he's going to come and hustle us to do something for nothing, you know. So we've got to give them something to get them interested, you know, and to pull them away from whatever work they're doing. And we hope to set up a, such a good scene that we could take it to Russia, say, like somebody suggested in one of your papers, you know. And, in fact, take it around the world. And... Uh, try and communicate with all people through this peace festival. Oh yes, and we hope to, uh, while we're at all this, set up some kind of peace committee that can, that's separate from all the other committees and charities and whatever, that will be based in Canada, because we think there's a bit of hope here. And uh, we've had the kind offer of Rabbi Feingold to... Feinberg, sorry, <laughs> it's a Freudian slip. <laughs> and uh, I forgive you. As long as you wear the red suit. <laughs> and uh, we're not. We haven't got many details for you. I know you like details and price and what time and that. But I mean, we've arrived here with the intention of doing these things, and uh, I hope we'll do them. You know, I mean, we will do them with your help and uh, with everybody's help. Your first peace project is aimed at Canada primarily, or you're doing it in Canada. Could it be that uh, it's because of its proximity to the United States and your... Uh, the visa, you mean? Yes. Uh, I believe I'm getting in, get, getting into the States anyway in February as a Beatle for the Beatles mm -hmm. premiere. So I'm not bothered about I've given up about that. If they get me in, they get me in, you know. What about the message to peace, though? It's in Canada right now. Uh, the, the war posters, the, yes. the peace poster is in 11 cities throughout the world. That's New York, L.A., Montreal, Toronto, Paris, Berlin, Rome, London, Athens, and Tokyo. And with a bit of luck, Port of Spain uh, in the Caribbean. Because we met a friend there who said he'd fix it, you know. <laughs> You're promoting it primarily in Canada, at least. Yes, come yes. Come over to Canada. Well, we, and why Canada? Because Canada's like, uh, it talks to China, you know. I mean, uh, we, we play in a kind of political game, but we, we don't know a lot, you know, of details. We know we like peace, you know. But uh, Canada's, uh, it's all this bit, vibes are good. We've been here before and had a good time. We've, we've had, this is, we've had, we've met lots of people around the world on our peace tour thing. But we've only had two, out of all the things we've done, we've had two or three offers of people giving us something, i.e. like radio station or help to set up peace concert or whatever. Normally it's the other way around, you know, it's sort of, uh, have you got any ideas, like, you know, so ideas come to us from Canada. So it seems whether, whatever we think about it, we keep coming back here without even having to think, you know. Mm -hmm. Are these pieces over campaign is something you're going to try and hold out as long as July or... Uh uh, the, war the war is over. Now, the war is over is a poster event. We term it as a poster event that will happen for the two weeks before and after Christmas, just as a Christmas event, you know. We, we just try and keep the message going, you know. We'd like to be have as much money as Coca-Cola and Ford 
to be able to keep up. We, we do, we think advertising is the game and is the way to do it. And we'd like to keep, we'd like to have the posters there all the time. Every time you turned on the TV, there was a, they're saying, drink peace, you know. Where is the money coming from for the posters you've got now? Uh, it's board? coming uh, out of our our pocket at the moment, but we've had a few offers to help, you know. So people cost? said, how much is it? I don't know, but it's cheaper than somebody's life, is the answer. Are you going to do any services in your work for the Peace Festival? Oh, sure, you know, any festival, I'll be there singing, you know. Are you going to do that without taking any money out? <clears throat> uh, I don't know, it depends how they set it up, you know. I mean, both, if I earn money, I can pay for the post, you know. I'm not going to just... I can give everything away that I've earned at once and never and play for free for the rest of my life. That's not been decided. It depends how much flow there is, how much other people need or want, how much we get, how much we can hustle, and how much what. But if I can get paid for a performance, I'll take it. But if it's a case of it can't be afforded or it would be better if I didn't get paid, I won't get paid. We just did... We've done... The Plastic Owner Band, that's us and whoever else is around, <laughs> have only appeared three so far. If I get the Beatles, I might have to pay them. It's a very long answer <laughs> to a very short question. Yeah, well, that's, I'm giving you exactly what I think about it. It's the first time it's been broached. I haven't talked to the guys that are setting it up. We said we're going to pay the musicians. Whether I'm included in that or not, I don't know. You know, I'm not saying no, and I'm not saying yes. What about the other promoters of this peace festival? Will they make some money Isn't people... It? We want to set up something that people get wages and money for it. Otherwise, it will, it's another charity affair. So they will get paid, yes. Yeah. I, I should reckon they should get paid, yes. I think there's enough money to be made out of a show like this for everyone. You know. That's not been worked out, but there'll be no fiddling, and all you'll be watching like mad to see if anything happens. <laughs> John, there are a lot of experts around the world now trying to promote world peace. Yes. Why do you feel that you can succeed where they have failed so far? Uh, I don't know, you know, we'll see, trying. we're trying, you know, we're not going to give up because some other people failed, you know. And uh, it's like saying, uh, why bother keeping on Christianity because Jesus got killed or something.